Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on High Pixel Skyblock. So frag running is now one of the best money making methods in the entire game. And I have heard that people can make up to 40 million coins an hour just from doing these frag runs. However, there's one problem and you might have noticed it as well. Most of the frag running guides first start off with, hey, you need a Hyperion, then you can frag run. But that first word is already a massive hurdle for most players, the word Hyperion. Most of the time when they hear that, a lot of you guys might just say like, oh, if I don't have Hyperion, I can't flag run, and it's useless. Well, today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can frag run easily without a Hyperion and still make up to 10 million coins an hour. Alright, so before I start the video, I like to say that this does not work with all classes. It works for most classes. But Mage and Archer are going to have a really, really hard time doing frag running because of their low healing. Now, first, to frag run, you're going to need an empty party. The way you get an empty party is you basically queue an entrance floor party, and all the low-level players don't have floor 6 completion. So then, as you can see, I have a party, and I just joined floor 7. So now I'm going to wait for this to start. And as you can see, they're, not, they're all not allowed on the server. Because they have don't have floor six completion, so there you go. Um, I, or you can use your alt if you don't want to just like you know make people annoyed by this. You can use your alt account, but if you don't have an alt account, this is a really easy way to do it. Just queue for entrance floor, get a bunch of catacombs zero, and you will be guaranteed an empty floor seven. So the class I most recommend for this, if you do not have Hyperion, is actually Berserker. The reason for this is because of the Berserker passive called Bloodlust. Bloodlust makes it so that by killing mobs, you regen all your health back. So for this frag running, I'm using 3 forts Necron and a Golden Necron Head and a Flower of Truth with Livid Dagger. But you can easily use other things, cheaper things like Shadow Assassin, and you'll still be able to frag run just fine. Now, when frag running, the most dangerous mob is one mob, and that is this, the Skeleton Master. Now, most of the time with Hyperion, Skeleton Masters are not a problem. Because the Hyperion has an incredibly large area of effect damage, and you clear it instantly. In Floor 7, as a Berserker, you won't actually take any damage. You'll take damage, but the thing is, you won't actually you won't actually be able to die from any mobs, because your life steal is just so high as a Berserker. So, when you're frag running, the most important thing you want to do is get the last mob. So the last mob is whatever mob drops the blood key or drops the wither key to open the next door. One common tip is that if you want to rush blood, it's always going to be the shadow door or the door that needs a wither key. The doors that do not need a wither key will lead to a dead end and will not lead you to blood door. So you should only be going for the wither keys. Now in dungeons, there's two types of rooms. In one type of room, the mini boss is the final mob. In another type of room, then you have to actually kill every mob in the room to find the last mob. Most of the time, the last mob is a mini boss or it's one of these small rooms. So most of the time, this should not be a problem for you. But some of the rooms are very large and do have a very annoying final mob. And if this happens, just carefully kill the mobs in the room without getting killed by skeleton masters and you should be alright. So as you can see, I'm taking some damage, but I'm instantly getting it all back just from all that lifesteal. Here we go. Alright, so a lot of Skeleton Masters here. This room is very, very deadly. So as you can see, the Flower of Truth is, the very be is probably the best weapon for frag running if you don't have Hyperion. Because you can throw the flowers super far, and then you can clear out the Skeleton Masters. So as you can see, I'm already going to clear that one out. And there we go. And there. All of them are done, and we have the Wither Key. Now continuing. Since we reached the Fairy Room, I can tell I'm close. And now, with this room, I instantly know that the last mob is the Mini Boss. Meaning that I should only kill Skeleton Masters in this room, or try to get the last mob towards me. So as you can see, at the start of the bat, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to target the Skeleton Master on far over there, so that I don't die from it later. Ice Spray Wand, and... I can, I'm going to Livid Dagger this because higher attack speed, which means more DPS. And there we go. 
As you can see, I got the blood key in only three minutes. It's not as fast as Hyperion, but still pretty fast. Alright, so now I'm inside of the blood door. Now the giants you want to look for are the diamond giants and the laser giants. If another giant spawns, I recommend you just kill yourself because it's going to give you less than 60k profit and it's not worth wasting time. However, if you want that 60k profit, then go ahead. So in this case, this is a really bad blood room. The scar fragments are basically worthless. Alright, so this is an example of a really bad room. So I got really bad RNG on that room, so I decided to kill myself because I didn't really have that much profits and it would waste a lot of time, the two minutes, right? So now, I just warp back here, I have all my stuff again, and make sure that you wait for a few seconds. And if you don't wait for a few seconds, you might get inventory wiped. It's a, it's a glitch where that you get like ROM warped to the same dungeon or something weird like that. But you definitely want to wait before starting the dungeon again. Just wait for a little bit, sell whatever you got possibly. Not that much time, just wait around so that you won't get inventory wiped and there's no risk of it happening. Alright, so now we're going to go into another floor 7. As you can see, we're going to start a new queue. Entrance floor, catacomb 0, you ask for cat at 0, and no level requirement. There we go. So now with this all in mind, we're going to now do another frag run. So, the strategies that, that you've learned from that bit of footage right there is first and foremost, the most important skill that really goes into frag running is mostly being able to know where skeleton masters spawn. A lot of the time, skeleton masters are hidden behind walls and other objects, and they're going to just surprise you and do 50% of your health. Alright, so now we got some people going in here, and now let's go into another frag run and see our luck. Let's go. So now, just look at this footage. So now, immediately I know that this this final mob in this room is actually the mini boss, and those rooms are the best because then he does Those are those rooms are also the fastest. Gonna fire a flower of truth to get rid of the skeleton master, and now I'm all good. Ice spray. Gonna just be beating this guy up with a livid dagger, and there we go. Easy one phase. Very very good entry because we got a very nice room at the beginning. They're going in here, Skeleton Master up top. Okay, it, it dodged, but still. There we go, instantly took care of it, and now I can just run into this room with no possibility of dying because of all my lifesteal. Alright, just entering this room. I'm going to fire down there. And... This is... And there we go. As you can see, we're making some good progress. Pick up the Wither Key. And now, we're making really good progress into Blood Rush. Alright guys, so now I'm also talking about why you might want to consider doing frag runs. Besides for the insane amount of profits, it's actually really good and makes you kind of a better dungeon player. The reason it can make you a better dungeon player is not because it's going to teach you to learn secrets or anything like that, it really doesn't. But it makes you a dun better dungeon player because you understand the placement of mobs and where skeleton masters are way better. That will make you a much more effective blood rusher and will also make you a better dungeon player. Okay, finally. That took a long time because I was kind of focusing on the commentary there. But all the same, we were able to do it. Now, I know there's a... Okay, there we go. And in. And now, being careful here, as there might be skeleton masters down this corridor, as you can see. There might be some over there. Usually, uh, that's a common spawning location of skeleton masters. And... Let's just continue going through. Okay, there we go. Here's the blood room. Now, I, I know there's a skeleton master there, so I just avoided it real quick. And yet again, gonna get those skeleton masters so that we don't die, and we can do this really efficiently. And boom! That is the last mob. As you can see, that was, again, a three-minute blood entry. I think three minutes is really achievable uh, when frag running. Um, especially if you, get a, if you get a good first room, and you don't get a lot of rooms where the last hit is a mob and not a mini-boss. Alright, so now let's see what RNG we get. Alright, looking promising. Alright, let's go! And now we got the Laser Giant! So the Laser Giant is just really good because it gives you the Laser Eye, which is 500,000 coins in your pocket. So now I'm just going to be going full-on backstab on this guy, just trying to kill him as fast as possible, because the other mob is Scarf. Now keep in mind that these mobs are Boomer Mobs, and Boomer Mobs are really annoying because when they die, they launch explosives that kill you instantly. So with this in mind, I'm trying to target the giant as much as possible. Alright, there, I killed something there, and I really want to avoid all the TNT if possible. Alright, so I died there. Unfortunately, the laser guardian did not give us an eye that run. But that is okay, because, as you can see here, the other mob was Scarf, and Scarf fragments are worth barely anything. 
So I think all in all, that was a fairly good run. We had a good entry. Unfortunately, we did not get the RNG that we needed. So that sucks. But all in all, I feel that that was a pretty successful run just because of our nice blood entry. All right, everyone. And that was the video. So sorry if I started rambling a little bit there. I was trying to focus on the commentary and do the frag runs at the same time. But basically, here is an overall explanation of the video. So first and foremost, the classes that are best to play while flag running are probably Tank, Berserker, and Healer. However, personally, I'd say that Berserker is the ultimate class for frag running. Archer can also be a really good class. However, Archer might have a lot of trouble clearing the blood room if they don't have sufficient bone ranks to kill all the mobs. All in all, I'd say that frag running is a really good money making method, however unfortunately it's not really viable for mages, as mages just simply do not have enough healing or EHP to do it. So the most important strategy while frag running is basically to get the last mob in every room and only open the wither doors. Wither doors are doors that need wither keys to open, and they will 100% go to the blood room directly every single time. Now there's two types of rooms in dungeons. And those rooms are the final mob is a mini boss, and the final mob is any regular mob. Now, the rooms where the final mob is a mini boss, in my opinion, are the fastest, because you know which mob has the wither key, so you can just target it. And rooms where the final mob is just any random mob and you have to kill all of them are much more annoying, but still, I still recommend you don't quit the dungeon, because those only slow down your run by about 1 to 2 minutes depending on the size of the room. Now, one of the strategies that you want to use when actually clearing is to target the Skeleton Masters before you go in. If you try to just run into the room like you can with the Hyperion, you'll most likely die, and even if you survive, it's going to be very close, and I like to go by the saying that it's better to be safe than sorry. On the topic of the saying that it's better to be safe than sorry, I recommend that you wait for at least 30 seconds before starting another frag run, because a lot of people have gotten inventory wiped when they try to reset the dungeon too fast and the server bugs out and they lose all their items. So I recommend that after every frag run, just take a 30 second break to sell whatever you got from that particular run. You can even be putting items in chests if you didn't get anything special. And lastly, I recommend just altogether skipping the blood room if you get really bad RNG. If you get something like Livid, and the because the Livid fragments sell for a lot, if you get Livid, then I would recommend sticking around. Um, and if you get either the Laser Guardian or the, the Laser Giant or the Diamond Giant, then definitely stick around. But then if you get a really bad RNG combination, which is rather likely, then honestly I'd say just skip the dungeon, because Blood Room takes quite a long time as a Berserker. It might be a lot faster as an archer, but all in all, I'd just say skip it because it takes quite a long time for only about 80,000 coins of profit. And in those two minutes of time, you can basically do another blood entry. So yeah, that was my frag running guide for Berserker and a lot of classes. So the reason I made this guide is because most of the time the guides just say you need a Hyperion, as I said in the intro, and that immediately puts off a lot of players because Hyperion is super expensive. However, with frag running, I'm pretty sure you can afford Hyperion by doing frag runs. So I really recommend you try them out. Of course, you don't really get that much Catacombs XP or you don't learn secrets. But I think that it also teaches you at least something. And it really does teach you how to clear rooms very well. And it does teach you how to survive Skeleton Masters, mobs like that. And such skills are very useful even when you reach the end game and get a Hyperion. Such skills will continue to be important and developing them. Right now, and you're still probably a late game player with Necron, I think that's a really good idea. So that is my frag running guide. I'm sorry this video is a little bit rushed. I don't have a lot of time these days to make videos. But anyhow, I hope this guide helped you. Tell me if you can now frag run in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!